could have run over you. I felt you coming! What, you felt my presence in the wind or something? The ground. It reverberated. What are you doing, kung fu? <laughs> Karate. Ka, ka, ka! Who are you fighting? The true master has no need to fight. Yeah, whatever. Um, eh, I always wanted to learn karate. People think you're cool, so they don't mess with you. Where'd you learn it? I teach it. Really? Well, maybe I could come check out some of your classes. I don't think so. Learning any martial art means accepting new risks, both physical and mental. And it's obvious you're not ready for that. I'm not afraid of taking risks. That's what I've been doing for the last six years. Man, if there is one thing that bugs me more than being told I have to do something, it's being told I can't. There's a devil standing on my tail. But I don't have to beat him. And there's an angel that is tempting me to fail. between the mind and the technique. Open your mind. Do not concern yourself with appearances. Think only of your breath. May I help you? Uh, yeah. I'm here to sign up. So you want to be cool? No. There's someone you want to fight? No. Look, I have good instincts. I'm good with my hands. I spent six years on the streets defending myself. to the view. You'll be seeing a lot of it. Desk, dude. You know, Griff, there's people that can pull off a line like that. And then there's you. Oh, hilarious. You know what? Catch this there, buddy! That doesn't sound as stupid as eat my dust. Oh, 
Fred, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I just, I went too far up the hill. Woo! All right, turn. Extend foot and strike. Turn, extend leg and strike. Hey, did you get your black belt yet? Call it Fumakiri. It's it's a karate move using your foot. My sensei says I have to work on my mental focus. Your what says what? <laughs> sensei, my karate instructor. Let me see that. It says here karate teaches discipline and to. It accept also teaches you how to fight. My sensei says being able to think on your feet is a real asset. It seems sort of pointless to me, Caitlin. You already know how to fight. Yeah, but you can never be too good at it. Hey! Nice! Man, I'm still carrying rocks from the ball. <laughs> you still have a rock collection? Yeah, I do. And you say karate's a waste of time. It's got a weird shape. Why don't you collect something with value, like comic books? Or maybe baseball cards like you. Yeah, maybe baseball <laughs> cards like me. Shut up. Boys and their toys. <laughs> Not bad, Taylor. But keep your arms straight. Look at Caitlin. No way. Okay, blah, blah, blah. If it's sticky. Hey, Griff, what are you looking at? Dad, lick this. Uh, no, thanks. I've already eaten. Dad, it's sticky. It passed the lick test. For authenticating fossils. Come here, take a look at this. All right, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but but it, is this the fossilized knuckle bone of a T Rex? It is sticky. In the Badlands, really. Really? What? Are you serious? What? Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Jessica. What is it? Dr. Klein authenticated a T-Rex skeleton 50 miles from here back in 94. Uh-huh. You'll never believe how much it sold for. How much? Eight and a half million dollars. Yeah, all I have to do is find the other 300 bones in the skeleton. I'm pretty sure they'll be laying around right where I picked up the knuckle bone. You picked it up. I found the fossil. You wouldn't even have seen it if I hadn't kicked it up in the air. Brett was with you? Yeah. Now I want it back. But you threw it away. You don't think I'm smart enough to know what a real fossil looks like? Okay, okay, remind me who got an A in science and who got a C minus. I think Brett's got the first claim to it. But Griffin's the one who found out it was a T-Rex knuckle bone. Uh, can I also point out that the fossil was found on our ranch? Bye, Brett. Look, why don't you two just share it? Why should they? It's obvious that Griffin should hand over all rights to Brett. No, it's not obvious. Well, it's obvious to anyone with a logical mind. Okay, everyone. Today we're going to be doing something you've all been waiting for. Sparring. Now remember, this is not as much about winning as it is about respecting yourself and your partner. First up, Caitlin and Paige. Bow to me. To each other. Fighting stance. Push me! Taylor. 
Diane. Punch me! Take a break, everyone. You'll all be fighting someone later. Hope it's you. Bring it on. Hey, Joe. I got the t-shirts I was telling you about. King Carnivore, very snazzy. I was thinking we can hang him in the window. I could give you a cut of anything we sold here. It'd have to be 50%. Rolling the stones to touch the T-Rex. 65 million years of history. Huh? Huh? <laughs> All right, well, it's a, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Hey, how much? Oh, uh, 350 uh, No thanks, I'll pass. T-Rex rocks? King Carnivore t-shirts? I have the rights to the T-Rex. No, you don't. I found the fossil. But you threw it away. I did not. You grabbed it from me. I thought you two were friends. I thought so, too. Real friends don't try and cheat each other. I'm not the cheater, you are. Why not partner up? Split the profits. I'd consider a partnership. Okay. All right, we pool the merchandising. And I'll give you 10% of the earnings. 10%? That's how my friendship is worth to you? Grow up. Point. Match. Kirk. That's it. Everyone's fought at least once. Next round, Caitlin. Taylor. Oh, yeah. Bow to me. To each other. Fighting stance. Hush me! not to come into my territory. Now you're in my territory. Once a street kid, always a street kid. Why don't you go back to the hole you came from? Keep fighting is not allowed in this dojo. You obviously have no respect for each other or for me. Please leave now. Sensei, we have to talk. Yes? You can't kick me out of the class. I really like karate, and I'm good at it. I'm sure I could get my black belt in no time. Caitlin, the point of karate is to develop as a person. And that takes time, and the right attitude. Look, just give me another chance. I'll work on the mental stuff, I promise. Very well. You and Taylor can both come back. You'll just have to come back to me together and apologize. That's not fair. She doesn't deserve to be in this class. Look, Taylor is just some shallow chick who's looking for an aerobic workout. Who's being shallow now? Hey. What do you want? I want to get back into karate. What's stopping you? You know what's stopping me. Sensei says the only way she'll let me back into the class is if we go in together. With better attitudes. I know. So change your attitude. You change your attitude. Why do you have to be so difficult? Why shouldn't I be? From the first day I came here, you've done nothing but try and make my life miserable. You know what? 
The more I think about it, the more I realize that I wouldn't want to be in any club that would have you as a member. Uh, What's the matter with you? Uh, nothing. You and Brett still not speaking to each other? What are you thinking? About an evil twig of a human being. <laughs> You know, I finally find something that I like and I'm good at. And then Taylor comes along and ruins it for me. It's not fair. I don't think this is about fair. Well, what's it about then? Well, I think it's about discipline and mental control. But I'm disciplined. I practice like crazy. Well, maybe that's not enough. If you let your stubbornness and your strong will overrule your mind, you're always going to be frustrated. Stubborn? Me? What about Taylor? Both of you are stubborn and confrontational, and you both always have to be right. In fact, I think the real reason the two of you dislike each other so much is because you're so similar. Are you having some kind of allergic reaction to something? Hey, you got Brett direct. Just leave a message at the time. news from Dr. Klein. Yeah, really? Yeah, she called and sent this over by courier. She did a series of tests, the last one being a CAT scan. That's an x-ray to show what's inside the rock. Oh, uh, what'd she find? You don't seem as excited about this as I thought you'd be. Brett's not talking to me. I cut him out of the deal. I feel awful. He really did find the fossil. Yeah, it did. You were the one who figured out what it was. Well, let's see what we got. You know what? That really looks like a dump truck. Congratulations, guys. You're the proud owners of a fossilized dinky toy. You're kidding. Jessica dates the toy to around uh, 1989. About the time we poured the cement for your mom's clinic. I must have dropped it in the wet cement. And it got washed away in a storm. T-Rex rocks. <laughs> King Convoy t-shirt. So what are we gonna do with your $8 million? I'm just gonna buy a hockey team. Dude, you can't even buy a hockey player with $8 million. Oh, what were you gonna do with yours? More baseball cards? Yeah, and the plastic protective casing. Aww. Since I left a message, she said that if we meet her at the dojo at four today and we bowed to her and show her that our attitudes have changed, she'd let us back in. I thought you weren't into doing me any favors. Look, all we have to do is go through the motions. After that, we never have to talk to each other again. Never? Never. Deal. Are you sure she said 4 o'clock? Positive. Because it's 10 after 4. I can tell time. I'm just saying. What are you doing? A roundhouse kick. You wouldn't know a roundhouse kick from a roundhouse stick. And you can do better. You have to point your toes out more. I knew that. Nice. You're trying out for the Rockettes. You have to push your hips forward with the standing leg. Here. Kick at this. It'll help you focus. Nice. You know, I've noticed in class that your reverse punches are a little weak. Why don't you try one?
Not bad for a ballerina. You've really improved, tough girl. Remember, always keep eye contact with your opponent at all times. And don't forget, think only of your goal. You know, I don't think we're about to become best friends or anything. But maybe when we fight in class, we don't have to really fight in class. That's cool. You know, you still might be able to sell the movie rights to this story. You could call it Jurassic Parking Lot. I know, hilarious. I'm gonna go put some music on the jukebox. Is there anything you guys wanna hear? A golden oldie, perhaps? Ah, watch it. Sensei told me that in karate, the learning never stops, and the success comes from within. I'm not sure if I totally understand that. But if I can learn to respect Taylor, then anything's possible.